Hey there guys, welcome back to another video on Ham Radio DX. I'm Hayden VK7HH and today I'm going to be doing a video on the IC705. Once again, another video on the IC705. I've had some uh, comments on my recent 705 videos to do with the 705 and whether this uh, suffers a similar issue to what the IC9700 has and whether it drifts while transmitting. So what I thought I'd do in this video is set up the 705 on both two meters and 70 centimeters, uh, and we'll do some tests. So they're the highest bands available in the 705. Uh, this uh, video will be of particular interest for those who want to use this as a microwave uh, transverter IF radio. So uh, we'll see, yeah, how much it drifts. So what I'll be using today is I'll be using Whisper um, I'll, we'll do some tests on 2 meters and then we'll do some tests on 70 centimeters and see how much it drifts uh, and if at all and if we get any decodes as well. So what I'll be doing is using my remote station which is an IC9700 which is GPS locked so it's on frequency and doesn't drift. So we'll be using that as our reference station. So let's go ahead and do some tests and see if the IC705 drifts. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my IC705 set up. Uh, it's set to five watts at the moment because that's the normal power that would, you would use with the 705 driving, uh, say, a, a microwave uh, transverter, uh, using it as an IF radio, so there's no point testing it uh, at 10 watts, so we'll do the test at five. I've got my uh, IC9700 sitting at the remote site ready to uh, record the results. Okay, so we're transmitting now, and you can see the little, uh, 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 whisper signals just appeared on the waterfall. I uh, actually see that there's another signal on the band as well, so uh, there must be uh, some other whisper stations transmitting at the same time. So I have my software set on 2 meters to 1540 uh, on the uh, in WSJTX, so that my transmit set at 1540. On the waterfall, it looks like it's coming up at 1520. So I haven't changed anything uh, in the radio. The radio, you can adjust the reference frequency um, if you want to get the radio exactly on frequency, uh, but I haven't adjusted anything there uh, as of yet. So I've just uh, left it as is straight out of the box. Whisper takes a very long time. It's two minutes transmit segments. So this is <laughs> gonna require a lot of editing this video. And we've got a decode. Now the first uh, call sign in the list is uh, another station who is uh, operating Whisper as well. But we can see there, so uh, guys, minus eight is the signal received. So yeah, it was it was at about 1520, I thought, on the, the waterfall here. It's actually sitting at uh, 518 or 1540, uh, 1518, sorry, hertz. And there's no drift on two meters, so um, that's a good sign so far. Uh, what we might do though is we might let it run through a, a couple of cycles. So I um, am going to let it cool down. I'm going to let this uh, transmit again uh, straight after this uh, next segment. So uh, we'll see what we if if we get any drift on the next uh, cycle. But uh, zero hertz drift from the the first test uh, looks pretty good. Okay, so we've just started up the next transmission. It's still transmitting. It's actually probably not five watts. It's just under five watts there. The radio is not not particularly warm. It's it's uh, actually pretty good. So we can see that on the waterfall, uh, we're back back then. Yeah, just under fifteen twenty hertz. So um, yeah, yeah, fifteen twenty hertz. So. Um, we'll see uh, if we end up uh, drifting. Okay, so our second transmission come back. Minus nine was the signal, and again, no drift. Frequency still about 15, 16, so I reckon I could ch um, adjust the reference in this radio and get it right on frequency, but uh, that's not too bad. So yeah, there's no drift that I can see on two meters at all, so uh, that's a good sign. So 
Let's move up to 70 centimeters and do the same test and see what happens. Okay, so the 70 centimeter test shows actually a stronger signal, minus three. We can see that on the um, list of reported spots. Uh, the frequency was a little bit lower. It was showing it as 1457 hertz, so a little bit, a little bit lower in frequency. The drift was minus two. So that's that's not too bad. Um, it's it decoded fine. There was no problems with decoding it. Um, you can see the line looks fairly straight. It was pretty strong. So I'd say that that's that's a perfect test. It, it'll work fine. Um, majority of the issues that come with drift are related to long transmissions with the IC9700 with because of the fan turning on. The 705 doesn't have a fan in it, so I suggest that's why the results that we see here are a lot better than the 9700 out of the box. Uh, the radio is not warm at all, it's uh, it's actually running quite cool. Um, so yeah, it's it, uh, it seems to be okay. What we'll do is we'll do one more test on 70 centimeters and we'll just uh, see if we get the same result as last time. So we've got it running again and we can see that the line on the waterfall seems to be a little bit lower than where it was before. Again, uh, the that line that's trailing off to the left um, on the waterfall, wouldn't worry about that too much. That's probably uh, mainly due to a plane in the area. Uh, that looks more like aircraft scatter because of the way that the frequency is moving. Uh, the Doppler shift of the signals are bouncing off of the the plane and I'm actually hearing two signals at once. So uh, ignore that line that's going off to the left, but we're looking at the main the main line here um, that's uh, that's sitting at about 1450 or yeah about 1450 hertz. So uh, we'll see if we get a decode. Okay, so it looks like we've been successful again. Uh, signal was minus six, so a little bit different than last time. Frequency is almost about the same, about 10 hertz uh, there and the drift is minus two again. So I'd say that the IC705, the drift, there isn't really an issue with it. I think that the radio is gonna be a fantastic radio for using as an IF radio for uh, microwave uh, operations. The other thing to remember with the IC705 too is, is that this radio was not designed if, with that in mind. It, I mean, it, it is a very good radio to be used for an IF radio, but it was mainly designed for a portable HF Poda, soda, uh, those sort of things, um, operating portable type radio. But it looks like it will work perfectly fine as a microwave transverter radio as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Ham Radio DX channel and I'll see you in the next video.